Hey, it's MK, and today I am joining Nicole Santos to celebrate her 200 YouTube subscriber milestone. I am so excited for her because she is a crazy talented lady. I love seeing all of her works um, come over. Now, the layout that I'm lifting today, she actually was doing a, um, a sketch, and so I thought that I would do my own spin on it because of the fact that I just, when I scrap lift people, I pick and choose what it is that I just absolutely love about the layout. And so with that being said, I'm showing you guys all of these really cool items that I'm going to be using, which is Minte Woodland Collection, as well as these gorgeous, cute, adorable little flair. And then of course, some X's from Bramble Fox, which I don't understand, but I think they do look kind of cool on a layout. I also have this really cool fire hydrant that I found over at Bodie, California. And here is the paper collection by Minte, and it is brand new to me. I got it for Christmas, so I've been dying to use it. But now Minte is coming out with their own die cut elements, which is the exact same thing as the cut aparts. So for a little bit extra, you can purchase a pack of their die cuts or, as always in a Minte pack, the back of the... Um, cover sheet, or I guess I should say the intro sheet, is always the um, the cut aparts. So you don't have to purchase the extra little bits, but if you're not into fussy cutting, they do come in handy. Now, I'm not sure if they are all the same size. I've never done like a comparison little type of deal, but I am going to go through the papers really quick so I can decide which one. I knew already which paper I was going to pick, but I wanted to make sure that that is the exact paper that I was, that I wanted to use after seeing it in real life and in person. Now, because of January being Baby Got Scraps, and I usually always get papers for Christmas. Thank you, my children. Thank you, my husband. Um, however, I always keep them wrapped up. I never go through them until I can play with them. Um, I know that's kind of like a, 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 res a reservation, um, but I just don't want to get enticed with them because I have a whole month of using up last year's scraps. And I have been doing that for two years now um, with the Baby Got Scraps. And it's kind of fun because it's like Christmas all over again in February. So I get to see all this stuff. Now, in the Minte packets, you always get two of every piece of paper. Um, I usually order a third or a fourth of my favorite within that pack um, because the scrapbook generation, uh, dot com sells Minte in individual sheets, which I love because sometimes I love a collection, but I don't love the whole collection. And so I like being able to purchase just one or two papers at a time instead of getting stuck with papers that I know I probably won't use. Uh, so anyways, I decided to take this gorgeous wreath. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Uh, and yes, I do have multiples of this piece of paper because of the fact that there's a gorgeous wood grain ring, tree ring thingy on the back side. So I went ahead and I took out my X-Acto knife and roughly cut out the center of this wreath. Now I wasn't looking for perfection, you guys, honestly. I didn't wanna spend a whole lot of time, but I did want to create an opening in my paper just like Nicole did. Um, <clears throat> And then that way I could tuck and weave my thingy -my bobbers within. But because of the fact that this paper is so gorgeous and so decorative as, as it is, this layout doesn't take a whole lot, honestly. Um, and what is so special about these fire hydrants? Seriously, they are from the 1800s, you guys. We had fire hydrants all the way back in the 1800s. And the the mechanism within this fire hydrant. I looked it up because I was curious about it. Now, um, it it is just above and beyond its time frame, right? For one, in the 1800s, we still considered frozen water an issue when we had a fire, and so this being a dry hydrant, which um, basically just means, or it's dry barrel, I should say, means that it has a valve mechanism inside that you have to turn on to allow the underground piping system that is full of water to reach inside this hydrant in order to get it through your hose, right? Now, today's models are a little bit more intricate and they do have a little bit more into them, but this one here is pretty self-explanatory. You take the nut on top, you open it up, um, <clears throat> releasing the valve, which releases the water up into the hydrant, and then it reaches um, 
the spigot of where the um, hose is attached, right? Now this is only one and a half inch hose because that's what they had back in the day was just a regular fire hose, um, which is still made today, you guys. Same exact material. Can you believe that? I am just impressed at what we created and we haven't done a thing with it because it was perfection right out the gate. Oh my God, that is amazing. But these types of fire hydrants were simple in their in their back in their day form, but the fact that these guys ran plumbing underneath and every house had water running to it is phenomenal, you guys. And the fact that they knew about the frost line and um, how deep to go because of the freezing, I, I just never imagined that back in the 1800s. I mean, yeah, I guess I could imagine, um, you know, everything being like getting up to speed, but I just never knew when that was until I see things like this. And I just, I knew exactly what it was because I mean, it looks exactly like the fire hydrants that we have, maybe a little less obnoxious because they're not painted bright red. Um, but, <laughs> uh, but it's just, it's gorgeous. And the design of it is fantabulous. And if you look it up, oh my gosh, this is what blew me out of the water. If you look it up, people buy these for outrageous amounts because of the fact that they um, are into the history of fire hydrants and they're into the history of having things like this. And um, this, the complexity of the design of it, right? So I have to tell you guys that um, W.T. Garrett was huge, huge in making, all, in the makings of valves and pipes and um, they actually call it brass works, which is kind of cool. Um, and so when you looked up this dude's name, which was printed on the top, so this makes this fire hydrant that much more valuable because they know the make and model. Plus there's a year on it, which makes it even more valuable. Now I'm telling you guys this, don't go to Bodie and steal it. Okay. It's, it's not worth it. Um, <laughs> but I am telling you guys all this because I had no idea until I started looking it up and seeing exactly, you know, what, what was all about this. And I'm just like, holy cow, that's a thing. Wanting to know exactly who made that fire hydrant and the the designs going around it and everything is just so pretty. I definitely would want that on my block as well. Because like I said, today's fire hydrants, they're ugly. They're awful. I have one down at the corner of my street and it's like, blah, you know, I would, I would rather, much rather see this. Now I do understand the, um, the emergency portion of it and why they're colored and all that other good jazz. I grasp that concept, you guys. But seriously, this is fancy. Like, woo, fancy. And the fact that when I looked it up to see exactly how it worked, because I thought, you know, pff, there's no way that these guys have an underground piping system. But they did. In order for this thing to work, it had to. And I just was like, wow, that is awesome to know that Bodhi was that advanced back in the 1800s when it was first built. I am floored, you guys, absolutely floored. And so I am glad that I did take the time to take a picture of this pretty fire hydrant, even though it is absolutely like something I would have walked by and never took again. But the architecture of this fire hydrant was just pretty, you guys. And to say the least, on every block in Bodhi, there's actually a little box that used to house all of the fire hose and it was wrapped up on a, on a reel and some of them were um, accordion folded. It depended on, um, I'm, I'm assuming the Patreons that lived on that block of which style they wanted. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Um, but yeah, that is what it is. And then they just take that out, attach it to the, to the fire hydrant, and then they're ready to go if there was an emergency. I think that that is the neatest thing ever. And I would have never thought that that type of system was back in the day of the 1800s. Anyways, babbled through. Uh, I cannot believe I talked that much about a fire hydrant, but I absolutely love the design of this um, little post. Honestly, uh, be sure to check out everyone else that is helping Nicole celebrate this amazing milestone. I mean, 200 is an absolutely magnanimous number if you think about it. That's 200 people that want to watch you create. Um, and her works of art are just that. They are works of art. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
Be sure to check out everyone else that is um, helping her celebrate. It They are down in uh, the, descri the description box below. And Nicole, thank you so much for having me help you celebrate today. I am so happy for you and I cannot wait to watch your channel grow even more. All right. Thank you so much and I'll check y'all later. Bye.